So you've installed the new version of Gatwick, you've put it into your community folder and when you start it looks like you have the default scenery so you can check by zooming over to the air bridge area and see if there's a building on the road then you know it's the default scenery. There's the building on the road, so the add-on is definitely not working. So you need to sh go into settings, general options, data, and check that your cache is at the default, which is uh, rolling cache on and the rolling cache limit is eight gigabyte. This is the default setting when you install don't use a larger cache limit because it may hold the old add-on in the cache so you need to shut down the flight sim and delete the Gatwick add-on that you've put into the community folder then you need to restart in the default version with no add-on in the community folder and then you can zoom over double check that it's default Gatwick uh, there's the the road bridge so download the latest version and copy it into the community directory So this is one way of getting the add-on to work. For some people, this is a problem. I've never had this problem myself. It's just a case of trying the add-on. If it doesn't work, delete it and then restart in default Gatwick. Have a look around and then shut down the program, add the new scenery, and it, then it should push it into using the add-on uh, this is the latest add-on you can double check this by going over to the air bridge uh, that's method one fix